Welcome to my lecture online. In the previous video, we saw how to derive the sine and the cosine of a double angle. Now we're going to find the identity for the sine of a half angle. So we're going to go back and rely on what we found in the previous video. If we now divide each of the angle by two, we can rewrite this equation as saying that the cosine of theta therefore is equal to one minus two times the sine square of theta over two. So I simply divided both on both sides the angle by two. So that's still a valid equation. And then we can go ahead and utilize that to solve for the half angle equation. So here we have the cosine of theta is equal to one minus two times the sine squared of theta over two. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this to the left side and that to the right side. So here we get a positive two times the sine square of theta over two because we went across equal sine that becomes positive. That's equal to one minus the cosine of theta. And then we divide both sides by two. So now we end up with the sine square of theta over two is equal to one minus the cosine of theta divided by two. And then if I take the square root of both sides, I end up with the sine of theta over two is equal to plus or minus the square root of one minus the cosine of theta divided by two. And there you go. That's how you find the, the relationship between the sine of a half angle and how it's expressed in terms of a whole angle. In this case, one, the square root of one minus the cosine of theta divided by two. And that is how it's done.